offering of World Cup football on Eurosport. This week it's the CONCACAF group from North and Central America, El Salvador against Costa Rica. This is the home stadium of El Salvador in the capital city of San Salvador. Their first game in this final group for which two teams will go on to qualify for the World Cup finals in Italy next year. El Salvador's opponents, one of the favourites to go through, Costa Rica, so it's a vital game for them. They're the current group pacemakers, followed by the USA after their recent win over Guatemala. For El Salvador then, this is the start of the World Cup campaign. They've had the opportunity to assess the competition. Now comes their chance to show what they can do. And this is the lineup selected by their Yugoslav coach, Miroslav Vojkacinovic. Costa Rica have a consistent goal scorer in Coronado, number 11. He'll be playing up front. Watch out Flores, their captain, is the strong man at the back. And watch out too for the loping runs of fullback Enrique Diaz. Today's referee is from Mexico, Arturo Precio. They may well need a firm hand in control. These matches in this area of the world do have a history of being somewhat volatile in the past. So it's El Salvador who will kick off, attacking the goal to our left there in the all-blue strip. Costa Rica in red shirt and black shorts. Our first sighting then of El Salvador in this final group of matches in the CONCACAF section. And they could just be the dark horses of the group, certainly an unknown quantity as far as the other teams are concerned. And they do have World Cup experience, having twice featured in the finals before, in 1970 in Mexico and 1982 in Spain. Enrique Diaz there with the free kick for Costa Rica. Who played with a lot of confidence in their earlier matches. And I hope for going through with the USA. Their task made that a little bit easier by FIFA's suspension of Mexico. Perhaps just a little bit of suspicion that that's all geared towards the USA qualifying for the finals. They, of course, stage the finals themselves in the next competition four years on from next year. Corias with the cross in. Cleared away by the Costa Rican defence. They've won three of their earlier games. Lost two and drawn one. Free kick to Costa Rica. Luis Cuevara is the goalkeeper for El Salvador. Well, the Natalie are tired. Let's hope his goalkeeping matches his appearance. Ayaso beat. This is Ramirez for El Salvador. Inspirational player from midfield. He was fouled, so a free kick to El Salvador. He's had to wait a long time to become involved in the action in this World Cup final group of the CONCACAF section. They've had qualifying rounds to come through. Two, remember, go on to Italy next year. El Salvador, incidentally, have only managed to score one goal from their two appearances in the World Cup Finals. And that was in 1982 when they managed to score against Hungary. Unfortunately, at the other end, they let in 10. Nobody dare blame the goalkeeper. But El Salvador looking lively here in the opening minutes. Flores was in the way. Central defender managing to deflect the ball clear. Throw taken by Nelson Rivera. And another throw. a highly charged atmosphere in the stadium. The El Salvador fans hoping to 
urge their team on to a victory in this their opening game then in the final group Flores for Costa Rica and he's forced the corner Costa Rica who lost to Guatemala and the USA away from home but beats both sides in the home fixtures and they drew with Trinidad and Tobago and then beat them at home it's looking good for Costa Rica at this stage along with the Americans and then El Salvador can come from behind and upset the back comfortably saved then by Guevara Garcia we see here again the corner certainly posed the problem Guevara decided to stay back and then he was in the right place as the header came across now Salvador got players arriving in support here if they can get across in rather tame one though Costa Rica getting themselves into a muddle too. And here's a chance. Good defensive play by Casada. Ramirez setting himself up for the shot and Casada with a firm challenge. But El Salvador have the corner. Mirrors to take the kick. The goalkeeper holding on well. Gabello. Gabello for Costa Rica. There's the corner again. And a fairly comfortable catch for Gabello. Kayaso. Good interception. And here is Abrego for El Salvador. Juan Fuegos. Nelson Rivera. Flores, one of three Flores on the field. Here's Rivera again. Two Flores in the Costa Rica side, one in the El Salvador team. Oh, pulled back well. This is Rivas at very nearly the opening goal, just over the bar. Roger Flores went in with the tackle, and before that, Enrique Diaz, who rather lunged at the rebound as you'll see here from the cross there's Diaz challenging there fails to make contact so to the spot is but just over the bar for Rebound. so the first genuine chance of the game falling to El Salvador Costa Rica coming forward now there's Enrique Diaz loves to come forward on the dramatic dive no free kick given Again, Cuegos. Good tackle by Quesada. Very competent defender, this fellow. As we saw in the recent games against Trinidad and Tobago. Two very tight contests. Chivaria. Garcia 
Salvador trying to make some impression here on the Costa Rican defence. They're failing to do so, and Costa Rica launch a counter-attack themselves now. This is Marchena. Flores. Clearance not too effective. A chance could develop here. Cayasso and it's caught. Cayasso with the opening goal for Costa Rica. El Salvador very hesitant at the back. And Costa Rica have taken full advantage. And Cayasso, who started the move way back in his own half, is on hand to finish it off. The header out from Abrego. Rather ineffective. And there is Cayasso steering the ball in beyond Guevara. It's 1 0 to Costa Rica. Welcome back to El Salvador and this CONCACAF third round qualifying match. Costa Rica, the away side, leading by a goal to nil. A goal from Cayasso on 15 minutes. Costa Rica having had to soak up a little bit of pressure at the other end. And then breaking with a fine goal, finished off in style by Cayasso. Marchena. Costa Rica, remember, joint leaders of the group along with the USA. So if they can go on to win this one today, it will certainly enhance their chances of going on to Italy. And it won't do the USA any harm either. El Salvador, really the only other side in the group who can still make an impression. Here's Cayasso, the goal scorer. Looks very comfortable in possession. No free kick given in his favour. Referee deciding that was a fair tackle. And the ball takes it back with Guevara. Flores to Abrego. Chasing back. He poses a real threat up front for Coronado, consistent goal scorer. All Costa Rica. Chavaria. Very competitive game as we expected. Costa Rica with their noses in front in this early stage. Way by Quesada. Take it through for a goal kick to Costa Rica. Michael win for them in their last match against Trinidad and Tobago. Having drawn the away game. way to go certainly yet for El Salvador and they were hoping to get off to a winning start here in front of their own fans but they've got to come from behind here's Quesada Cayasso he had the pace very nearly got away from his man then very dangerous player, Kayasu. Dacia. Once the ball handled, the referee, Mauricio from Mexico, says yes. So, free kick to El Salvador. Taken by Garcia. This is Carriat. Large and 
noisy crowd giving their team as much support as they can but Diaz now about to break clear but in fact the whistle has gone for another free kick to El Salvador just a few yards outside the penalty area so a chance here Costa Rica pulling just about everybody back just one man left up field building a wall in front of goalkeeper Capello Ramirez is there here is Ramirez I think that player was 10 yards away when the kick was taken the referee allowing play to go on and the only player upfield for Costa Rica was Jara no way through for him and away comes Rivera for El Salvador Getting plenty of urgency in the first 20 minutes or so but a goal down nobody upfield for Costa Rica Garcia couldn't make it Again, plenty of time here for Rodriguez. Garcia. Again, he's lost out. Six out of tackle. Got a free kick. I think the referee wants to work with the offender. Gara, explaining his point of view, but the referee was far from happy with the challenge. I think is the one that upset him. Again, Wegos is the player needing treatment. And it's given Costa Rica plenty of time to organise themselves defensively before Rodriguez can take this free kick. Cabello making sure all is right ahead of him. Rodriguez turning it in from the huge figure of Enrique Diaz getting it clear and away come Costa Rica not too far though easily broken up and here's Rodriguez the central defender and the goal magnificent shot from Rodriguez and El Salvador are level Oh, no wonder they're celebrating. That was a glorious strike then from Rodriguez. Coming up from his defensive role, he's taken the free kick, which Costa Rica didn't really get clear. And he was still lurking. And that was a terrific drive from Rodriguez. And the contest now, to the delight of these fans, is really off. The referee, Les Casada. A pretty even first half. Not much between the two sides. And a goal apiece as Casada goes for rolling down the flank. And Rodriguez, the goal scorer, coming across to cut him out. Casada himself to take the throw.
free kick to El Salvador. Apart from the goal that flew past him, Rivera has had a great deal to do so far. Defenses on the whole have been on top in the first half. Diaz going in strongly. Challenging now with Rebas, towering over him. And here's Rebas again. Well, there it is. Garcia. Jara, a neat piece of play from him. Not a very good cross. And easily gathered by Guevara. To Nelson Rivera. To Rodriguez. if either side can find a second goal now before half time long throw out from Gabello finding Diaz who controlled it well plays here and a corner forced by Costa Rica so they have some defending to do here, just before half-time. They sent Torres forward and Diaz just pressed it away by Guevara. It has the danger pass. Ayasso. Given away though to Abrego. And offside. Much to the frustration of the Al Salvador players. Only a few yards inside the Costa Rican half, but Leisman right on the spot. And absolutely right offside. Flores with the free kick. There, in fact, is the end of the first half. A goal apiece. Costa Rica taking the lead through Payasu. El Salvador coming back for the goal from their defender, Rodriguez, to make the score at half time. El Salvador won. Costa Rica won. We'll be back with the second half. To El Salvador. And the second half of his World Cup qualifying game in the CONCACAF section. That's for teams from North and Central America. And if you're just joining us at halftime, it's 1-1. Costa Rica having taken the lead, but El Salvador coming back strongly. And getting a deserved equaliser too. A very important match for Costa Rica, who are one of the two favourites to go through. And two teams will go on to Italy next year. At the moment it looks as if it's going to be Costa Rica and the USA but El Salvador having their first game in the group today and they could yet have a say in the final outcome El Salvador in the all blue strip attacking now from left to right
And a neat flick down. Here's Kayasso. Nothing on for him. But Hidalgo. And it's there. Hidalgo, the substitute, has scored for Costa Rica. And they're back in front. Two goals to one they lead. And it's Carlos Hidalgo on as a second half substitute who has restored the advantage to Costa Rica and suddenly the El Salvador defence was exposed Hayasu, no way through for him but a spanking shot then from Hidalgo and Guevara beaten so early in the second half Costa Rica once again find themselves behind huge disappointment for the crowd here in San Salvador and that was a terrific shot so El Salvador looking to bounce straight back again Costa Rica getting it clear Ayasu then lost possession so there's danger here and the corner conceded so a chance perhaps here then for El Salvador to quickly retrieve the situation they certainly look to be coming back strongly towards half time and having got the equaliser will be a little bit disheartened that they haven't got on from there Rodriguez with the header down here to Rivas and Rodriguez in there again oh and tipped over the bar by Gabello it was a fine save Rodriguez the man who equalised earlier for El Salvador denied this time though by some spectacular goalkeeping by Gabello but El Salvador have another corner This time it's clear by Costa Rica and they've got the chance here of a swift attack on the break. Cayasso has looked very impressive in this game. Hidalgo. But Rodriguez then so close to a second goal. Let me emphasize that this game is far from over. Costa Rica on top of the group with the USA. El Salvador playing in their first game in this final section of the CONCACAF group. Ramirez with the free kick. Montero is cleared upfield. Another break on here and a very positive run indeed. Flores threatened to go all the way then until he was rather crudely brought down. Some fine close control from Leone Flores. And in the end, El Salvador had to resort to illegal tactics to bring him down. Rodriguez making his presence felt at one end. And then again back here and another bad tackle then from Abrego. Poor old Flores tumbled twice. But Flores is back on his feet and able to continue. A free kick then for Costa Rica. Leading here by two goals to one. Ayasso is there, and Flores, it's 3-1! And that was the perfect answer from Flores for those defenders who stopped him so unfairly. Well, the captain says Ayasso, but no doubt at all that the free kick was taken by Flores. And Costa Rica now with a two-goal cushion. Flores, who'd been brought down seconds earlier, 
a lovely free kick and Guevara no way of reaching that one dismay for El Salvador and their coach Miroslav Wojciechinovic I wonder if his team now can come back from this Machina this is Kayaso. Enrique Diaz threatening to get away. Rego staying with him. Three one though, Costa Rica lead. And it's going to be a real test of character now for El Salvador. Free kick to Costa Rica. Taken by Kayaso is Casada. Cayasso going in again. He certainly has been a constant menace to El Salvador as Cayasso, scorer of the first goal. And he's been very impressive from his midfield role. Cabello. Goalkeeper for Costa Rica. This is Enrique Diaz. Flores. And El Salvador have to raise their game now. They have to stand a chance of picking up one point, let alone two, from this uh, first game in the group. Here's Abrego. Arias. And he's forced the corner. Again, they've sent up Rodriguez, hoping that he can pose a problem or two for the Costa Rica defence. Correas taking the corner. And headed away, and Capello didn't come for it. One or two questions being asked among the Costa Rica defenders then. Another corner. Another chance to inflict some pressure. Abrego. And a third corner in the space of, what, 60 seconds now. But can El Salvador make the pressure count? 3-1 down. Garcia will take this corner. Again, he'll look for the height and power on the air of Rodriguez, but it doesn't reach him. And through for a goal kick to Costa Rica. Cabello not in too much of a hurry. Then you can't really blame him for that with his side having this 3-1 lead. Two more points would make their prospects even brighter of reaching those World Cup finals in Italy next year. Given away by Flores. Picked up by Cienfuegos. But too many defenders for Costa Rica. Brego. Good turn then by Correas. Just a useful player in this game, and the one man who might just torment this Costa Rican defense. And he has now. Rivas has scored. Jose Rivas makes it 3 2. The crowd go wild. And El Salvador are right back in this game again. Just look at these scenes of jubilation around the ground in San Salvador. Twice now they battle back. They're not there yet. One or two of the El Salvador players there gesticulating and waving to the referee to make sure that Costa Rica don't take too much time overtaking the kickoff. And that's a perfect cross by Correas and beautifully tucked away by Rivas. 
3-2, what a game now. Costa Rica want to make another substitution. They want to bring on Alvaro Solano, number 16. The play is being held up. Well, there's an injury to a Costa Rica player. The referee indeed calling for assistance from the sidelines. El Salvador want to get on with the game. Well, it looks here like a fairly serious injury for Coronado. Well, the El Salvador players are unhappy that they feel Costa Rica are, are time-wasting. Well, I don't think there's any question of that Coronado here being stretched off. And he is, remember, their main striker. So they won't want to lose him, but they're going to have to bring on a substitute now. As El Salvador prepare to take the free kick, and it's Alvaro Solano who's come on this is Abrego for El Salvador 3-2 could be a chance here oh and a goal Ramirez with the header it's 3-3 or is it there's some confusion and it seems that the goal has been disallowed the linesman down on the near side and the referee both indicating that that was punched in by Ramirez well dismay and anger among the El Salvador players and the referee's decision is that that won't stand Fabrizio of Mexico the linesman indicated two, and that has been disallowed. So controversy here. Well, here we can see it again. Garcia, lovely piece of skill from him. And watch now. Does Ramirez use his arm, or does he head it in cleanly? Well, I reckon that was a fair header. No doubt at all that there's a lot of annoyance among the El Salvador players and their fans at that decision by the referee Bricio of Mexico which denied them an equaliser that would have made it 3-3 as it is they're still behind and I think they'll be discussing that one for some time to come the header from Ramirez or was it a punch? here's Diaz Going on, oh, good save by Guevara. Shot from Diaz. And let's hope that the El Salvador players don't allow their frustration to get the better of them now. They've got to concentrate on the task. They've shown they can break through. They will have been a bit of time wasting here. I think spotted by the referee. Unhappy that Enrique Diaz is taking so long to collect the ball and take a throw in and Costa Rica hanging on but while they have the ball in the El Salvador half they'll be fairly content but a real let off for them with that disallowed goal from Ramirez well, rather untidy and the referee awarding the free kick to El Salvador Diaz just kept the ball in play and here's Hidalgo one of the goal scorers for Costa Rica good control oh. 
It's Flores. There's a neat flick off too. Now Flores, can this be number four? Yes! 4-2. And Costa Rica surely now take a charge. Controversy with a disallowed goal. And now another goal for Costa Rica at the other end. It was Kayasu who sent him clear and Flores tucking the ball underneath the goalkeeper will cover the near post but not sufficiently El Salvador 2 Costa Rica 4 but one can only wonder what might have been if that goal had been allowed and that you can see is the bitterness being felt by the El Salvador fans they're beginning to throw missiles onto the field the fourth goal which may well have killed off the contest Costa Rica can breathe again the ball just squeezing in beneath the goalkeeper at the post and looking around the ground there are some very unhappy supporters here beginning to show their unrest let's hope this doesn't boil over free kick to Costa Rica who look now to be heading towards a very important win for them in this group hoping to reach the World Cup finals for the first time and they're throwing cushions and canisters onto the field as their coach the El Salvador coach, Mike Chinovic, looks on and he won't be too pleased at these scenes. As the crowd begin to show their anger, and this could turn rather ugly. You can see they're throwing on what appears to be water canisters. And other missiles as well being shown to the referee by the Costa Rican players. Their coach there, the Brazilian Marvin Rodriguez and just look at this well Flores really can't take the throw and this is all looking very nasty indeed and the six yard area now is full of missiles being thrown from behind the goal and one begins to wonder now if this game can continue if the objects continue to come on Ayasso losing out 4-2 Costa Rica leading with about 10 minutes to go Flores Brego for El Salvador. So disappointed. They thought they'd got back on level terms and then suddenly they're two goals behind again. Flores. Cool and composed at the back for Costa Rica and they need to stand firm now in these last few minutes. The pressure will certainly be on them from the crowd as well as from the El Salvador players. Still, the objects are coming on. The long shot goes wide. And they're throwing things at the other end too now. Bellows long kick up field just look at the number of missiles now littering 
the area around the penalty box and indeed inside it too and the referee is prepared to allow the game to go on at the moment Flores for Costa Rica again a surging run from him he's got a lot of skill a lot of pace too many defenders for him he's asking a lot now of El Salvador to come back again so disheartening for them to have the goal disallowed and I don't think the referee is going to be the most popular man on the ground Trigueros here's Rodriguez and the crowd extremely restless and the situation, as we feared, has become very volatile. Quesada, chased by Correas. Free kick to Costa Rica. Signal for more missiles to arrive. And these scenes quite extraordinary. And this, remember, a World Cup game. And there will be a FIFA observer looking on from the sidelines. He won't be too happy at what he's seeing either. No doubt at all that the catalyst for all this, the disallowed goal for El Salvador, followed so quickly by a goal at the other end for Costa Rica. 4-2 and now surely they can't carry on. Well, the referee is having a good look at this scene, and I think he's calling across to the touchline now, to the FIFA observer. And referee Bricio of Mexico has decided that enough is enough. And there is Jose Ortiz, the FIFA official. At the very least, they'll have to broadcast a warning. But I can't really see how this can resume sad to see this Jose Ortiz issuing instructions and I would think he'll want broadcast to be made but the game surely can't go on while these objects missiles whatever they are are still being thrown onto the pitch discussions now between referee and linesman Costa Rican players having to dodge missiles being thrown. The referee now has decided the game has to be abandoned. Arturo Bricio of Mexico really had no alternative. Cabello at the other end there. Well, it looks as if he might have been hit from behind. Luis Cabello, the goalkeeper for Costa Rica. It isn't safe out there. There's no two ways about that. The crowd have completely overreacted. You can understand their frustration, but really they've taken things too far, and that says it all. The referee has called off this game with eight minutes to go. Costa Rica leading by four goals to two against El Salvador, and the game has been abandoned. Well, here once again then is the incident that triggered off all the unrest around the stadium. Cross in from Garcia. El Salvador reckoned this was a goal. The referee saying the ball was handled by Ramirez. And as we slow it right down. Well, his arm is up. But it did look as if the header was a fair one. Well, controversy still surrounds the outcome of this match. FIFA have yet to make an official ruling although it does seem the result will stand with a victory to Costa Rica by four goals to two with just eight minutes of the game.